Happy Monday and it's great to be back with you all. I took a little break from Memorial Day and I hope you all had a safe and fun time with friends and family. If you haven't watched my videos before, I'm Jake Wolfenden with Summit Safety Group and each Monday I drop a quick video to help you get your minds and attitudes focused on all things safety and health. Now that we've already entered into June, it's that time to remind you of the hazards associated with heat illness. I'm not going to go through all of the many signs and symptoms of heat illness, but rather I'm going to leave you with a few short but very important points. Remember that it takes days and even weeks to acclimate properly to the heat and humidity. Pay attention to your body and listen for those cues telling you to both cool and calm yourself down. It's during this early season acclimation phase when humidity and heat sporadically spike. So a couple days it's cool and then bam, it's hot and humid. Please reach out and talk to your supervisor if you start to feel fatigued, which leads me to my next and crucially important point. Yes, heat illness, heat stroke, and all heat-related hazards are serious, but there's a hidden enemy within the same category that contributes to a huge number of injuries that are categorized as other types of incidents. This culprit is fatigue, and you know this. When you're fatigued, your mind starts to wander, your physical reflexes are slower, and so are your mental reflexes. Does this play a substantial role in other incidents classified separately from heat illness? Of course it does. So my challenge to you and your teammates this week is to please listen to your body as it relates to heat illness, but more importantly, when you start to get into that fatigued state, hydrate, get cool, and do whatever you can to get yourself to a safe place. Look, I realize hard work is hard work, and with that comes fatigue, but there are varying degrees of fatigue. That being said, when your mind starts to wander and your reflexes start to slow, you've got to find a way to change your scenario for the better. Your safety, your livelihood, and your quality of life are dependent on your ability to listen to your body and not only realize that the dangers of the scenario you're in, but to actually do something about it and change it. Heat illness and fatigue-related injuries go hand in hand. For Summit Safety Group, I'm Jake Wolfenden, and I may not know you, but I do care about you. Have a great day, and I'll see you next week.